going on guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy danny and today we took the boat out finally we got out it's gonna be a nice day it's blowing a little bit it's kind of chilly that's why i'm wearing the the windbreaker but it's Derek's birthday weekend so they should be out here in a little bit we're gonna do some fishing we got here out we got out here early so we're gonna try and fish the mangroves for a little bit right now we're at elliot, elliot key um just taking a little break we made the crossing got up really early just to beat all the boat traffic and stuff so I'll take you take you for a little tour around Elliot Key and and then we'll do some fishing. So this is Elliot Key Ranger Station. We got a bunch of parking here. Very nice spot. Beautiful water. This is the water that not too many people see because you need a boat to get out here. So it's 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 really pretty. And in the background over there, if I can zoom in, that's Turkey Point. That's the power plant. And far, far, far out there would be downtown, Coral Gables, all that stuff. But right now we're in LA Key. This place is beautiful. You can do camping. Could do lots of nice stuff out here. And the fishing is awesome too. It's a very nice spot to bring the, uh, the family. And there's the uh, little skimmer kicking butt. She's such a beast. This boat always like impresses me so much. Just rips. Yeah, you got a little station over here. And then you got restrooms back there. So, very nice spot. Only uh, advice I can give is don't bring a drone because they do not want you flying that on their grounds. So, that's the only thing, but it's a beautiful place. Massive shark. Let's see if he swings by this way. Let me see if I can get close for him. Massive shark. So it looks like there's gonna be a change of plan, guys. I thought everybody was gonna head out today, but turns out somebody didn't feel well and uh, plans changed. So I did a little bit of a fishing, and uh, I think it's a it's overdue going over the skimmer skiff exactly how I had mine specked out. Uh, go a little bit of the features, check the compartments, and go over all the. The stuff that i optioned it out with so uh let's turn it into a little skimmer skiff uh 16 video as you can see the water here is absolutely beautiful this is miami water you don't need to go to the bahamas to have crystal clear water man so right now we're using the mincota and this thing is has been phenomenal. There are some people who have a really bad uh, rep with this thing, but I have had zero issues with it, honestly. It's been spectacular. Right now I got it on the uh, spot lock, so it holds me in this position. Doesn't matter the amount of current. As you can see, the water is rushing pretty, pretty fast. And we got a fellow uh, skiffer. <laughs> Um, so right now we are by Ocean Reef, 
kind of get into the keys northern keys so this boat has three different compartments for storage uh, let's see here. this first hatch is pretty pretty awesome and it's it is watertight this one it's got two drain two drains on each side good weather uh, uh, gasket here the uh, I went with the biggest tank that Bobby offered at Skimmer Skiff. I think it was uh, 16, 16 or 18. I don't remember, but it was uh, the biggest one. Usually when it's uh, the smaller one, it kind of cuts down here and you get about half the tank. But right now I'm running an AGM up front. So that one, um, I, I use, that's the first battery I use. I use the trolling motor and I run it all day on that one. And then inside the console, I did a, another, a second battery, which is a standard battery. That's all, uh, all the wiring and everything. The compartment. The boat is a uh, Whisper Gray. The full hull, top cap and and hull is uh, Whisper Gray, and we did a white uh, upholstery. Bobby did a great job on this boat. I couldn't I could not be happier with this thing. It's a head turner, that's for sure. I went with the JL Audio 7.7s and uh I did the fusion headset, Mercury gauges, and a Simrad Cruise. Now this uh definitely not what i would recommend i would i would definitely if i could do it over again i would definitely go with a uh the higher trim i think the neo i think it is from uh, simrad so we can do the florida tracks marine tracks which is phenomenal that's the way to go i did do this custom panel here for the uh switches that was a really nice touch i i asked bobby to put a 12 Bolt plug in there as well. Now the boat does have gunnel rod holders on each side. And we got some drainage back here. Those are your uh, Coast Guard ratings. I did do the uh, folding backrest which was awesome. Definitely nice when you gotta do a long cruise back home and it folds right out of your way when you're gonna do some fishing. He's, he does these, Bobby does these really nice acrylic live wells, phenomenal. Great design. I, not a big, I'm not a big fan of these like massive uh, polling sticks hanging like 10 feet off of the edges of the boat. So I just used one of these little super sticks that folds out to like 12, 13 feet. And that, that'll get me around if I need an emergency. I don't, I'm not a fan of pulling anyways. So I usually tend to just use the, the trolling motor. Yeah, I'm a modern fishing guy, right? I know the diehard guys are rolling their eyes. But, uh, so these are your two, uh, storage hatches on each side and then back here you have your bilge area which is that's that goes to show you how uh dry this boat is i don't think there's a single drop of water in there pulling platform i powdered it powder coated everything black lights LED lights everywhere on the boat and the baby what really sets this boat apart from all the other ones is the 60R this motor's been amazing honestly I do wish it had a little bit more top end power but when it comes to having a nice hole shot you couldn't ask for more I am going to mess with a couple props and see if we can get a little more speed out of her but right now we're seeing 36 mile miles per hour max so that's all she does
we did do the uh, trim tabs as well on each side. But it's a phenomenal boat. I know you guys have been uh, waiting for a walkthrough of this thing for a while. So I'm bringing it to you at a really nice place with this beautiful water. Now, if you are looking into the Minn Kota, the one that I'm running here is the 12 volt with the 55 pound thrust. And honestly, it works perfect. It's kind of blowing right now, but uh, comes with a little remote. Right now I got it on the spot lock, but you got a bunch of different speeds. Yeah, this thing will take off. It'll go straight up against the current. Another awesome thing about this is, let's say you cast a little too far, you get stuck in the mangroves. This thing barely sits in the water, so you can actually like use it to drive up to them into the mangroves and get your lures out. So for retrieval, it's awesome. And this thing will last all day on that AGM. It's awesome. Definitely. One of the best things that I bought for the boat.